All right. Background music is not the same. So right off the bat, there's a difference where let me actually get to the start. Both of us start pretty high and then we instantly drop low. This is so that we can just spread our bullets over more of the screen. For the most part, for, for my case. For his it's probably more reaction time. And we're going over another thing right here. Here, see how late I kill this fourth enemy? compared to him. Uh, that's his fourth. Right there. He kills it. This one's my fourth. It's off, pretty much off the screen by the time I'm actually attacking. There's a really good reason why I actually do this. It's so that I can offset my attack. Uh, I can offset my string to be later than his. My screen, the enemies appear and attack later. See, his appear, mine appear. He's on two. He's already dropped the string. I didn't drop the string because I can chain off of his. I actually called this string out correctly though. That's why I'm going over those just in case. If I don't see it on the right side, I can pick up those. I wouldn't have dropped anyways, I don't think. Yeah, I would have been able to catch that. Probably. But yeah, because I hit one. What that does is it gets me a better combo. I can instantly get to like a 9 here. I think I take a hit though. Because I'm really rusty. And he drops it again. So that guy right there. There. I go over it because I know that this wave is probably going to be hard. Because usually within the first 2 or 3 there's an intentional. There's a wave that forces you to drop. You drop the last one so I don't get a big linker off of this one. But this is how you normally get to like a 30 combo really quickly. And the other one, I just didn't kill that because I'm not used to hard mode. Like, normally when he swoops in, he goes here. You can just track him and decently, reliably get the kill off of it with the stray bullets. But I was just off time. And I think they might be faster, but they might actually just be a different timing. Or I might just have screwed up. I was really, really rusty at this point. So yeah, I pick up those two. I think I'm actually going to check. Yeah, I pick up these two by going off screen. My string screen is still way later than his. So, I'm going to live. Uh, that was leg. I dodged that much, much farther on my screen. So, like, um, these rockets, they shoot down. Those hit really close. I'm really closer to here on my screen. <laughs> and then I moved back down there. Yeah, you can see that. That was just leg. So... This is recorded for me as I dropped the combo because uh, I don't think there was a good linker here. This one appears. Yeah, and only his linker, and I wasn't quite there. I'm used to option at this point still. So that's why I only have the I only have these over top of his setting. And I moved the wrong way. Because I think if option was still here, this would have kept my chain up. And I still have those habits built into me. There, I miss another one, because I'm just bad at this point. <laughs> I shouldn't be dropping those, because... Here, wait. I'll actually go through it. So here, I should be moving up to here. I should be moving up to here, and then following upright. I got stuck in the corner, and these people shot at me, because when you follow them upright, they'll shoot upwards, you can go back down and catch the other two. I couldn't catch that one and finish the link, and then I just get hit, because I'm terrible at this point. Just watching that again. I dropped these links. I'm like, oh god. I chased that one because I didn't see that it was dying. I was like, I'm going to drop this link. I'm going to lose. <laughs> and I just get hit. He did die, though. Which was, so it was the right time to go back. I just wasn't paying much attention. I panicked. That one was a really dumb mistake, but I wanted him to drop his 18 hit combo. Because that was the only way I'm going to make a catch up at this point. After that quick hit. These waves are hard on normal as well. well. Not hard, but more... They're easier to drop things on, because you have to predict where the big guys are coming up from top. Which are annoying. 
So he gets a... Uh, this is another reason why I wanted to drop. I really didn't want him to get this so soon. And I'm going to die here because I already took a hit. Yep. So, yeah, these guys here, you have to predict when they come in. Because normally you'll drop a combo. They'll come in up here. And you have to already be shooting up here. Which is why I play Ruby as well. Here I don't drop down. Oh, I do drop down. I just, I don't know if that was lag or if I just forgot to do it. This one's bad. I missed so many hits. I recaught those characters later. And now this one was just embarrassing. I'm so shook from that first game. Because <laughs> I didn't expect it to be so hard. I had not practiced on hard before. Other than at the very start. I was just seeing which ones I liked best. That was a good catch. Now these guys are somewhat difficult. Sometimes the waves gives you easy ones. Like this one is an easy one. But like if I didn't have that linker there, I might have dropped a combo. Uh, I go for a hundred percent, and I think I get hit. I thought I had one twenty percent, but I read my gauge wrong. Again, that was mostly just me being bad at this point. <laughs> I could have dodged that by not cornering myself, but I didn't recognize what these guys were at the time. I'm still terrible at recognizing them. And this was a really bad attack because I didn't have that 120%, obviously. So yeah, I had one, like 110. So when I start this up, I don't get the extra point. to rewatch. So here, instead of attacking, I should just drop that early. Read my meter better. And now I should have instantly gone to this side of the stage. That would have probably still got me hit, but if I'm stuck here, there's already two here, and this guy's on this half of the screen, so I don't want to move. And obviously I get destroyed for it. And this guy comes in, which is what actually kills two. Yeah. So half of the screen, I can't clear this dude, and I can't clear this dude. And they always try to fill up the screen side to side. Or, it's common that they fill up the screen side to side. I don't know if it's actually random or anything, but... not When it doesn't fill up the screen side to side, you don't die with it anyways. <laughs> it's fine. And this one, I just there's too much clutter. I got cornered, and I died. Didn't have my bomb. The first game was really sloppy, he switches to buddy. Which is fine. So I made a really dumb mistake and I didn't check what weapon he had. But both buddy weapons are pretty easy to avoid, so I didn't really care that much. Also, I'm not using weapon 2. I really should be, but I don't have it unlocked yet because I haven't been playing this game much recently. I've been playing with other characters, and I'm just too lazy to grind. Yeah, this stage, I've never played on hard mode before, I don't remember. I think I played it on very hard, and normal and easy, but I don't remember playing this on hard. So this is a really strange stage for me. I dropped a combo right here that I really should not have dropped. Yeah. Yeah, and that's a, that's a really hard link. So, the issue with this was... I drop my combo, he gets this free combo, and then I die. Because <laughs> there's nothing I can do about this setup at this point. I'm just going to continue dropping combos, and then I die. So again, what should have happened here? I should have dodged, and I should have just stood there. I expected him to die too quickly, because I, I wasn't used to hard mode yet. Which is why I started going towards the center, so I could pick up these links. I needed to. But he didn't die, so I lost the combo. And I get this 3, I just dropped this thing straight up because I guessed wrong. So normally, like, you would delay it to get this other person to drop their link there. Because that's another really common spot, and you just guess the opposite side of them. But guessing the opposite side doesn't really work, and then I die because I suck. This one's hard, I was not used to that pattern, and I didn't catch which way the guy actually went to. Because I had to look at my own character again. Also, by the way, never look at your own character. You should always be watching up here and just assume you're moving in the right ways. That dodge things. That's like the basics. You only watch down here if you're about to die. 
Here we go. This strategy worked. I managed to still delay my string, and then I get hit, because I'm an idiot. The common thing here is I wanted to get through and then stop, but I didn't stop. And I think I take another quick hit and just die straight up. Because I'm playing too risky for this stage. Yeah, I think it's like here. Yep. So I, I really overestimated how good I was at this game still. <laughs> After not playing it for a month, so. I would have I would have assumed that would be better. And I wasn't. So I should have just been taking it okay. Maybe skipped a wave of attack so I can just feed a later one. Because after like the first three, it stops caring when you defeat them and just sort of sends them in. I think I kill these easy. Quick. Yeah. I want to see what actually made him drop. Yeah, he chose the wrong side, so... These ones are decently easy, because as long as I'm at the bottom with Ruby, it's somewhat easy to just keep the combo going. And I'm watching my combo counter so I can see them off screen. And this wave. So I expected him to drop a combo near here. Because this wave is usually really hard to link from if you don't have a spread shot. Yeah, I see. The only reason I got that link there... Is because these bullets continue to hit outwards. And that's why I'm sitting right at the bottom. So I can see it, I see my combo can't go up, and I just scan the screen really quick. And I take a hit, probably. So if I don't take a hit, I'll just continue the strategy. So at this point, I just don't want to die, right? <laughs> I lost the last two rounds because I'm an idiot. So I'm just going to stay near the bottom and ignore mostly everything looking at myself. I assume... I'm still not used to hard mode, so I'm just going to assume the screen's going to fill with enough enemies to actually continue comboing the entire time. I take it, I should really hold this until I get right before where I bomb, and then I'll transform. And the alternate here is I see this dude happened. So the strategy here is that I want to pop this, grab the item, and then transform instantly. So he can't bomb or it deletes his item. Now, I didn't realize he got it first, so I'd go up there. I instantly transform and he breaks it right before the screen freeze which is also why I gunned it right down there to get in front of the beam so I was going to stand in front of the beam until he bombed so he lost his extra bomb and then he got it it's here and now I'm going to just camp over it start just shooting I was trying to do the spread shot and then I got a couple I don't I can't really it's also he lives in like Korea I think I don't know, some Asian country, probably, judging by the text. And I can't tell where he is on screen, because I have really bad internet on top of that. So I'm just trying to spread as much as I can. And this was a really good wall right here. Which is what I'm aiming for, which is why I go up, I do a spread shot, I go down, I do another spread shot. This one I'm more flooding, because I don't really know what's going on. And I want to preserve life a little bit, because I can't directly cover this, but I'll still be over top of them do that and I think I go into orb mix-ups right at the end because his orbs are really strong nah, I died so he gets that it was an extra bomb which is really good and now I'm dead because <laughs> he's gonna transform shoot out a bunch of missiles transform and I'll die I have two bombs and I waste the second one here because I'm an idiot uh, it'll happen later but really what happened was I go down here I see that and I thought I got hit so I panicked and bombed. I was outside of the range though. So that was a wasted bomb. Normally, like right before you if right when you get hit, you can't take damage and like you're in damage and you can't bomb. So if you're like right in damage, right before damage, it's generally safe if you think you're in the area to just press bomb. Because if you even if you got like another health, right? I'm not damaged. The safe time to press bomb because if it doesn't, if it hits you, you'll take the hit. If it doesn't hit you, you just bomb and kill the guy, right? I didn't want to waste the second bomb because I knew he had two at this point. I was like, this is going to be really hard without upgraded weapon because I know he's going to be able to dodge pretty much any attack I try. And I just won't be able to live through these waves. I'm not actually sure what kills me here. Um, hits me the first time. 
either. Like right there, what hit me? Oh, that. <laughs> I did not see that. Is yeah, screen's too cluttered, so right now you just clear. You're not gonna drop your combo as long as you're shooting and playing like Ruby or Smith or anyone with a good spread. Even Dr. Magic to a point. His is slightly wider. Uh, Nano, uh, also, we just won't drop combos. So, if the screen's that cluttered... Oh, I can't believe I dropped that. If the screen's that cluttered, you don't bother with actually comboing, because it's just not going to matter. So normally, <sighs> this was a really dumb decision. So right here, I know these bullets are going to travel here. So I should be aiming to go right under these ones as well. Instead, I move upwards, which was wrong. I should be going straight right. right. They traveled there. I should have gone under. Or through. Like either through there or through there or through there. Because I just need to get on this side of the screen because they always escape that away. Or if they don't escape that away, they just get hit by these bullets because these linger. Alright, other things, um, at this point I'm not really caring about my chain because I just don't want to die. I still got really scared at this mode because I didn't know how good I would be at hard mode. And he seemed to be dropping quite a bit. Oh yeah, that was another prediction shot. So, yeah, he was dropping quite a bit so I didn't really care about dodging. I'd live. So this one. What happened? I saw this dude go off so I'm like, I'm either going to hit it or I'm going to predict and get something else. So both things happened, which is really nice. So I started, it was the double wave, so I'm just gonna go right to the middle and hopefully stay there. Yeah. Cause everyone leaves through the middle and I don't know if I could have picked this up. I don't think I could have at this current state. Like I, I don't think I'd be good enough to move here and carry it the rest of the way. I'd try, but I'd go way too slow. Ideally, you would just move right to here. So you're going to go, when he comes in, you start like here, because if the first one's popping here, you start here-ish. Then you just move left, right, left, right, and you try to get everyone to track you into the wrong areas. Like these guys will shoot, when you're on the left, they'll shoot here-ish. Then you move to the right because they die with these lingering ones. And these guys come in and they shoot here-ish, and then you move back left because there won't be any bullets there. That's a really easy one. I didn't realize they had star patterns either. Because they don't always have star patterns. And that threw me off because there was extra bullets I had to care about. These ones are easy. Like, just don't respect any tracking, really. Unless there's additional clutter. That is the consistent way to dodge the buddy bullets as well. These two come down. You just stay at the bottom. They will always go over you and they free so much space so quickly. That's how you get over. I knew that I was safe. I was way farther over here, by the way. So like, this happens. He shoots these. I'm, well right now I'm like here-ish. I was farther in and then I moved farther out because I saw him charge those. I think it went upwards a bit. Yeah, it corrected it right there. And then we just move back down because you want to be generally in front of him when he does that. I can't believe I got hit by that. I think I was just really slow on my screen. Like I was, I was just not paying enough attention probably. Because this is like one of those things where it's not really a mix up because Ruby just moves too fast. So I would be here. I would have escaped right to here and then gone upwards because you can't slow them down. Oh, then I missed those. Like, I literally just didn't see them. He did a really good job at covering the screen. See how it's already shown up partially? Those ones show up. I saw that because it escaped. And then I missed that one completely because he's covering it with the similar colored robot. That was really good on his part. So another thing, if I didn't die here, if I saw this one, uh, the strat would have just been to cover in right here really quick. Second one came down really fast as well. Right. So you cover in there and like half a second later that one would have shot down and you just go right back in. 
you wouldn't have enough time to actually switch weapons because he's firing circles. And then the last video didn't record. Give me a second. Uh, no, it didn't restart. Never mind. One second. Watch my dog. And we're going to go over it again. So I'm going to be looking on his side more this time, too. I don't have second weapons anywhere, so... Kind of sucks. I think it's gunship, but I want to show off some gunship stuff too. So pretty much him, he's starting at the bottom, just because if you're playing a character with lingering bullets, you could really cover a lot of the screen at once. With bullets. And Nano is really good at this. Like normally with Nano, I just left and right all over. Just keep doing this. And you've pretty much covered the entire screen with bullets. And whenever your combo stamp count starts... Um, Probably happens. Like, whenever it does these slight little hits upwards, or with nanos, it just doesn't slow as much. Uh, I think he gets a higher combo at the start here. Like, those ones? Uh, oh, he, he's actually just filling it up. And it, it doesn't fill on normal. That's strange. Anyway. You see it filling, and then you can react to that. Because it'll, it'll hit off screen, and you're hitting everywhere. Oh, man. I'm going to go back. So. So, again. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, I lost my train of thought. When did you drop the combo? I want to go back to there. I'll well, go back to the early start. So right off the bat, he makes a mistake here where he kills this one way too early. Like, insanely early. He's going to make the next link really hard to do on reaction. So he should have just dropped right down here and started spreading everywhere. In general, that's going to be your best play if you aren't going to get the link. Which is why I'm always on the bottom, really, and he started the waves. So he did these. He had a tough time dodging. I don't know if he's, if these are tracking. Wait a second. Yeah, they're just circle ones. So they hit pretty much the same pattern. I moved to the other side of the screen at that point, so I didn't have trouble. Which is another thing. If these things happen, everything spreads out here. They spread outwards in these directions, right? Uh, what's the speed? M? Whoop. It ain't M. Give it a second. Oh, I don't know where the speed one. I thought it had one. Uh, give me one second to Google this. Okay. There we go. 
So, let's go back to where we were. The, it's the straight edge brackets, by the way. Hundred percent speed. Or were we? Okay, yeah, we were here. So these bullets, they shoot out here, which means, like, literally just due to how they shoot out, this space is going to be open. So as soon as you see a star pattern, get to the opposite side. That's how rays work. These are just tracking, so the normal stuff applies. Move left, moves right. Zigzag, and they'll shoot completely in the wrong direction. These ones, I like killing these guys quick, just because I usually die to the missiles if I don't. <laughs> I might have, my my entire time here... I'm still really far behind his screen. So his everything he's doing is just what I'm going to be able to look and I can see what's coming up next. It's pretty much cheating. <laughs> and then I get hit because I'm probably looking. <laughs> and because I'm a fraud. Yeah. Then our waves get a little bit desynced to what I wouldn't expect. I didn't realize how far behind I was too. And then... Because I don't really watch him at the same time. We're going to go right back. It's after the first drop. I drop this combo in the dumbest way possible. Which means he's getting to 20 right off the bat. I drop 8 over his way because I'm at 16. And then these, these links are going to be easy. I mean, he hasn't hit all of them, which is bad. But it's it's really not hard to get 20 from, a, from 8 drops. Yeah, he makes 20. Um... Which means I'm going to have to fight 10, which is going to kill me as soon as he drops it, pretty much. That wave was insane. And I saw it on his screen. I saw him transform, and I'm like, I'm going to bomb this anyways. Alright. This is another thing. We're two-player. So, if you see this wave happening, and you've cleared it, if you have a... Also, there was one more thing. Nova has a little trick, where if you just only put these streams on an enemy... And these ones up here, right? You can carry your combo for really long, and it will barely go down. So one of the tricks is that you just put this stream right here, move a little bit, try not to kill this guy, see if I can bomb this wave, and if I don't, you've got a 35, right? Big hit right here. And then you can transform with it. He just quits the wave right off, and I die anyways, because, like, this is a... I have a bomb, and then I just die, because I'm an idiot. All right. Like that would that's not actually that hard to dodge. I just sucked, so. Normally what I would do is I have gunship here. So if I'm about to hit something, I'd press it. Cuz it's just a it's like a free bomb and if I'm about to hit something, they're about to hit something too. So when you pop over here, Switch to the gunship, get out of jail. He wasn't about to hit something, though. He just popped it because he had it, I think. So I got a free bomb off on one of the harder waves and on his gunship. Just in general, something you want to try to avoid. But her gunship's kind of bad, so it's not really... It doesn't really matter if you make the most out of it. You just want to get rid of their bomb. And I think I take a quick hit here. So don't be surprised if I die. What is this round? So this one, he kills these ones decently late, later than I expected. So I didn't get the link, and he did. So I don't know if it was, if it was a, an adjustment, he did that really well. If it was just coincidence, um, he still did it really well, because he's really good. <laughs> right, and then... I, in general, just killed these waves way too slow. Way too fast, I mean. Like, I could have got him to the edge of the screen easily, and I didn't. This was a bad connection, he kicked gets this one easily because I mean Nova has a really easy time with connections too and then he drops it which sucked but I had a chance to live off that and I didn't so he drops it I get this one I get that one I get that one and I shouldn't have gone for them I should have got the ones that were flying across so on his screen What 
What happens? He he misses one. Oh. It doesn't really matter because it's a mid one. It just drops one from your combo count, right? So, here. This is pretty much what you talk about. You want to be doing this all the time as Nova, or you miss these first ones. She's one of the only characters, her and Smith, um, that can actually reliably get these uh, with a little bit of luck. Uh, you need to have good reaction times, and it does need to like actually come out fast enough. But it's it's pretty reliable to hit them. Which is why you stay right on the bottom going back and forth. That was a good delay. Um, I don't know if he knows that he's behind me a tiny bit right now. But if he just keeps going, he can get a really easy win. Shoots a missile. Um, wasn't a missile. I don't know what happened to me here. So. This is why I like Ruby, by the way. Because if you just shoot enough rockets, they have to move. Like, they have to move to the other side of the screen. And it's really hard to continue that combo. Unless you're a big character with, with like, wide gunshots. Like, Dr. Magic would have dropped that combo. Um, probably Gen would have dropped that, too. Uh, it helps if I wait for a wave that doesn't have a lot of things on both sides of the screen. But I'm behind, usually, so I don't know what's coming up. Like, that's a good, that's a good way to, like, delay the waves if you're ahead, too. Like if you know a wave, you're ahead, and you know a wave's going to come up where there isn't a lot of sides, and you got a little bar, you send a full bar. Again, um, this was bad, because I was going to gunship right after, so I was being really dangerous with this, and just letting this, everything on the screen percolate. And when I was starting fire down here, I didn't realize I did... I, I just realized I didn't have a gunship to escape with, so I pressed the button and got hit. I didn't have a gunship to escape with, I mean... I'm going to slow this down a little bit. Because right here, when you're playing Nova, and these things happen, this is another reason why Ruby's really good, because he gets these spread shots really quick. And spread shots just like the best drone. Because it's just clutter. <laughs> and that's really all you want. But when you're, when you're Nova right here, your first goal should just be spreading it. Because you can kill them quick. You, have, you still have decent damage. So, let me put this back up to full speed. You should be, as soon as someone drops their combo, uh, and this was, like, this is a play by me, specifically so that wouldn't happen, too. So I was going to drop my combo, see if I can get him to bomb gunship. So, dropped combo, see if I can get him to bomb. He doesn't, I get hit because I didn't have gunship. So normally, you would, as soon as this happens, he heard me charging, though. Like, because you can hear it. You drop down, you spread a few to try to get as much as you can. Right? And then you want to stay at the bottom just because Ruby's gunships. Ruby's attack, I mean. I don't know why you did that single. Like, there wasn't anything on screen. Like, he keeps his combo up, so it's not the worst, but it's still 10% loss, and it's just not great. Like, um,. When he does the attack, right, close to here, right, oh. Yeah, he does, oh, he doesn't keep the combo up. Anyways, he does a single attack, this does nothing to me. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, I have one ten percent, I can do a blast and attack back, gunship back, right? And I screwed up and died. That attack did nothing. It set him back 10%. So that means if he did have to bomb here, he wouldn't have gotten his gunship. And that's like partially to the luck of the pattern. But he did a really good job of destroying everything and then still clearing and getting the full combo. So that was easy. And then this is just normal gunplay, gunship set play. Whereas is pretty decent. You just want to... Like, that's my strat too. Side, angle, and just move up and down a lot. Uh, especially with, with Nova. Not Nova. Nano. Same character. Don't worry, the patch will fix their names. <laughs> yeah. That's a... 
She doesn't have much other useful things. Like, I think her rockets are better, but... It doesn't matter. So anyway, this... I don't know if he knows comboing on this one, but... In general, it's not the hardest. You still want to really delay this wave. Uh, there's two reasons why you delay. And I think... I think... Um, I think Smith is, like, the best character in the game on this stage. For... A couple reasons. One's because his mine is the same color as his background, pretty much. Uh, oh, also, Dr. Magic's also really good, because his X-Bomb is really similar to the background color. But, like, Smith is really good, because this stage requires a lot of movement with just the enemies, and uh, their spread shots are really common, so you move a lot. I die really quick, so I can't really go into more. I just want to... One more time. Like, this is decent combo. This isn't the hardest stage to combo on, because those guys take a bit to kill, and they stay on screen for a long time. Same with the snakes. Uh, I mean, I drop a combo on it, so what am I talking about? But at the same time, it's not the hardest. Uh, Buddy has a little bit harder time to do it, because Buddy does way too much damage. And his beam sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, he we had the exact same strat there. Like, watch both sides. These are mirrored, but... We both tried to get under him, and he did it, and I didn't. <laughs> And then I lost. Because I'm a really good player, I swear. I swear. Yeah. Uh, what he's doing here, I'm assuming he's just trying to go for a 110, and then I died instead. 110, do the attack. Uh, gunship instantly. Alright. Of course, I, I died way too quick, and I kind of sucked. So... It happens. Just play it off. It doesn't really matter if you die or if you don't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Buddy can move pretty much anywhere on the screen because he's just a laser and he does constant damage for the entire screen. Uh, so it doesn't really matter where you're staying on the screen. I still like to put it at the bottom just so I can get spread shots better. Like the. Uh, it, there's, there's, there's like, um, there's a legitimate reason. I'm gonna go back in time. There's a legitimate reason to stay on top because these tracking ones, uh, it's easier to track. If you're up top, you can really throw a tracking move off, like these ones too. If you're here, you move here and, uh, tracking dude. So imagine you're here, he's tracking, he shoots a bullet, it shoots here. You move to here, he's tracking, he shoots a bullet, it, it moves to here. So you're looking at like that line. That line, which gives you that big space instead. But if you're down here, he shoots a bullet, you're here, he shoots a bullet, you're here. It hits that line and that line. You need this space and the rest of this. So you have to move out of the way. And it's it's tighter, but early on it doesn't really matter too much, so it's really just personal choice. Whatever one you feel more comfortable with, both of them are fine to combo with, because you're going to be moving across the screen anyways. And you just have to dodge them straight up. So, like, normally, if you're playing if you're playing Smith, you always stay at the bottom. If you're playing Ruby or any other of the spread shots, right at the bottom, because they got spread shots, you know? Easier to combo. If you're playing, like, Dr. Magic again, I usually try to stay around mid-screen, I'd say. Don't travel up into here, because they can spawn down here, swoop in, and it'll just hit you. And you won't be able to see them. Uh, Dr. Magic spread shot. Um, anything with delayed, like Dr. Magic, anyone not body really uh, there is a, like you want to stay somewhat close to mid-screen but if you're having like if you're right before a combo it's gonna drop or a hard wave or you feel like you killed someone way too quick when you're mid-screen right you drop down instantly you spread a line and you have the delay hope for something high up and you just go back and forth with it like normal uh, buddy you're relying entirely on reaction because he has a beam and he kills really quick uh, sometimes I would suggest just straight up not hitting them for a while and see how low you can make the number go before you can save it like uh, he does it twice in a row it's so like that one and then that one would be what I would try to do so those two slow hits he kills this one really quick I'm assuming because he saw it and he's just killing what he can see to clear the screen yeah it was a fine, fine choice. If he had another wave of those, it might not have been great, and we're at the same timing. So we can't really tell the future. 
Uh, but we are at the same timing, that means he should delay. So, these waves I'm not really familiar with. These guys are really hard to deal with sometimes because they just don't come in good spots. I don't know if that's a the right way to say it, but so what actually happened here on my screen? I think I talked about this earlier. Is I just dropped a combo straight up. I should not have dropped that. I didn't scrape the screen right. He came down really low, which is part of the reason why I dropped it too. Because I scraped the screen really high. And I might have dropped it anyways I was scraping, but I shouldn't have. Like, I dropped it entirely because of my own fault, not because of just the variance in the, the waves and the timings. Which is always just a bad thing. Yeah, like, I shouldn't have went to the center right that quickly. He was dead for... Yeah, he dies here? I should have already left. I had time to learn on... This guy right here, how many shots it take? I should have known he was dead. I think there was a. Yeah. So, like, I knew he'd take a couple hits. He's like, he should have been dead. I should have bailed. I should be going. Planning right there. I would have escaped. Sweep left, sweep right. I would have caught this wave too. And I didn't, so I had to attack early. It was fine, because this guy showed up. <laughs> I can grab the ball, my gunship. And like I said before, that was my strategy. Bomb gunship, try to prevent him, or make him bomb with the gunship on screen. Not gunship, um, with the power-up ship on screen. It deletes the power-up, that's why you bomb. I'm restating that. These, d I'm going to cover his screen again. Back to his screen. So he just drops his combo straight up. Um, it wasn't that hard. I dropped back. I put a bit of clutter on his screen. I don't have Ruby's um, drones list memorized, his default one, because he's a custom one all the time. Just on familiarity, I really should have practiced more at the start of this time. So I don't know how much clutter, other than there was clutter. I'm going to go, I keep going back because I keep forgetting to say stuff. But it's pretty much right here. He should, his main focus should have been to kill that thing as fast as he could. Like you kill that, you clear the screen. Once that's gone, you can bomb and it's safe. Because right here, he locked himself out of a bomb for the first few couple moments of this gunship being on screen. And it was really close. Like he saw that slowdown and he's like, I need to kill it, right? Also, because I was just covering like half the ships. <laughs> But then I'm like, okay, I'll protect the power-up, right? Uh, so normal spreads, everyone knows the trick of you just press the, the angling buttons is when you're firing them, and they spread out strangely. And it's really hard, and he's do, he does like an insane job at dodging these. Part of it's because I don't know where he is. Part of it's just because he's really, really good. Like, he's number one on the leaderboards for a reason. <laughs> it's not because I'm playing against him in story mode. Because <laughs> he's just got really really good fundamental skills for shmups, right? This one's... He's also like... So, there's a... Um, there's a thing in this game where... If a gunship's on screen, it's really hard to drop a combo. Like, you can not shoot and it won't drop. So long as you don't get hit, and you don't bomb, uh, you just don't drop your combo. So anyways, what's happening here, I'm sure he sees these and he knows how to deal with them better than I would. But I'm camping this bomb a little bit too hard and he realizes this so he's just staying in the corner. I haven't really noticed it yet. Uh, probably because I'm still trying to do the, the spread shot glitches. All right. And I didn't notice my health was so low, so I just tried to... Like, I would have retreated up here if, my, if I knew my health was low. And gone for an orb mix-up, but I didn't realize it. This one's easy. Um, 
the bomb cleared it, but I was like pretty much in position to dodge, and then I die. Uh, we all see how I died before. At the him, he's just gonna clear two, and I'll die way too, way before it actually shows what happens on his screen. So you know, normal comboing, normal clearing, good dodging. Um, nothing here is quite ridiculous because there's still a lot of big open pockets. This was the wave I wanted to see him do, but I was in front of him. So I didn't see him. So yeah. This is normal chaining. We already went over this at the start. Of course, when you... He drops the chain here. This is, like, partially this is Buddy's fault, partially this is his fault. Um, that one, that's what I wanted to see. This character was on screen. You should be watching these corners. You should be right near the middle. He reacts too slow, though. So if you see it now, moves. That was a good link. So I dropped my combo and now. He makes a slight mistake where you don't. So when you when you have enemy drones on the screen, they're easy enough to dodge ones like these homing guys. These spread ones are kind of harder. You don't kill them that quickly. Uh, you kill them and you try to get them when they escape, right? You just kill the main dudes on screen. And that's when you slow down. Like he could have waited. Um, See how slowly this is going down? He kills it when it's halfway. Same with some of these. He's killing these way too quick. Just making these links hard. Of course, like, he makes the links, which is nice. But if these are different drones, he could have dropped them. Or if they appeared on this side of the screen, he could have dropped them. And I think we're roughly on par. I wasn't really checking, though. So... These are pretty decent paths. Again, he does a really good job of just blocking the enemies that come. And, like, this makes it really hard. This is why he goes to the top, too. Both because this one... Like, he has a lot of... Some control. Like, normally, you'd go to the right to the bottom, so these don't spread out enough. Because, again... Um, and so you have, like, the... The special charge attack. That would be part of it, too. But, like, these things, these spread outwards, right? So when you look at these, these will spread like these. Oh. Like that. It's closer. Right? And see how big these gaps are right now. I could have dodged this. I could have dodged that so easily, but I didn't. Because I'm a fraud. <laughs> but. And unlike Ruby, Ruby's orbs. Um, on this side of the screen. Ruby's here. His orb, he'll shoot out. He'll move slow. And you'll usually angle it. And then as soon as you change angle, it does that. And it's really fast, and it can actually catch anyone. Like, anyone in the entire game can... As long as you can put it close enough to them. Like, uh, if they're, like, here, normally you'd shoot... Shoot one here, shoot one here, angle them both left. First one ends up about here, second one ends up about here. Or here, or here. Like, it's, like, that far apart. So when they want to go up... This one's in the way currently. They want to go left, they probably should. Uh, which is why you spend a little bit to get them to the corners first. Or at least down here. Then you got your two bombs. They try to go in. They need to go upwards or they die. Because you just don't have time to dodge. And they're too far down. And you don't want to be at the bottom at pretty much any time. Because you want time to slow your opponent down and go under stuff. So these are coming down, they're decently fast near the bottom. They're here, they can't go up, they can't go through. Well, they can They can go through, they can go straight up, and they can go straight down unless they're near the bottom. Also, they can go right, but that doesn't help. Uh, that just delays it, and you still run into this one. Alright. So the ruby mix-up is just swing through. It will catch anyone and go into the right, pretty much. Um, upright as well. Because they'll run into the top one. And if they try to go up, you just hit them. Right. 
They want to go down. It's not good. So their goal is to try to get in through here. Like the two blocks are here. Get through here. And then uh, the Ruby player predicts when they want to go through. Because they're going to have to go into the risk zone. And you can kill them for that. And that's the Ruby mix-up. The point is, Gen... Not Gen. Buddy. Buddy does not have this mix-up. He can't control these enough. Like, here. You'll see him. Do a nice control here. Half speed. So you can see this it's moving and now he moves it that's way too slow full speed All right like I outspeed that just with my regular gunship so I get through into this I then I go angled towards it I think every gunship outspeeds it too which is bad So this stage is really good for Buddy if he gets the gunship. Specifically for the reason that why he killed me. Because you can hide these so well. It's really good. It's always a point of like, you have to pay a lot of attention. But because of a lot of Buddy's attacks can really clutter the screen. Like this isn't the best one. Um, let me go down. Uh, does he do them? So you'd want to do like a shot of these and then a shot of the regular one. He doesn't actually do the pattern that I thought he was doing. But that, that clutters the screen a lot and it gives you full movement still. Which is really, really strong. Um, also, like those are really weak. That and the charge, they're really weak except for I got hit by a couple. Because I'm so rusty. <laughs> I don't remember where they, where they hit. The lasers got buffed. Um, they're decently good, and they're they're really good to like just corner someone flat out. But like right here, that was not a good enough corner, honestly. I could have moved to here, which would be risky, but get a lot of damage. Oh, I can't move here, and I can't move here because those are both like laser spots. It, the mix-up is just these three angles, right? He like here is a safe zone, and he has no movement during this. Which is, I mean, if he had movement during those, he'd be a really, really strong character. But he's, like, from the entire point, he's there, he's locked in place. So what you do is just dodge down there. It's decently easy. Dodge the screen. Uh, he presses the charge. Wait till everything moves. Move him up here. And then once you confirm where he shot it, you move back into place. Um, like him angling it that way, that was the... That was the this angle. This was really smart. Like uh, a lot of people just shoot it straight down, or try to do it in like a dumb way. Like think it'll go through, so you shoot it this way. That's 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 low. Like it's a mind game and it'll catch people. But this was really smart because all it's going to do is he knows that things are coming. Everyone does. That's how the game works. So he's just going to lock me out of this screen area and hope that if something good shoots his way. Nothing did because it wasn't quite that point in the wave. And he used this as a kind of weak time. Like here. Uh, it, was, it, was like, it was a good idea here. Because everything's just spawning in. But. He shot. like What you want to do is. Either come right in and do one. Right. He shot these first though. So now he's put two out. These guys. These little drones have escaped. These guys finished their first shot wave. This guy finished his shot wave. It's right here on the screen. Right. gap i'll show you so like it's fire 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 this is fire 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 charges there's no firing we're done it's a triple so i made it really easy for me to dodge i'm going through this whole lot because this is like this is a lot of packed into this First off, these these bullets kind of useless. Like I was already dodging somewhere. Yeah, they don't cover enough screen. This one completely just went off. Uh, give me a second. Slow this down. So he fires the first one. I miss it because the screen freeze. 
That's interesting. Is yeah. How is this happening? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I don't know how that one happened. This one goes nowhere. I'm not even on that side of the screen, right? I mean, like, he shoots one and then one. So, one out of here, one out of here. It's just consistent, I think. I don't know, I'm not that prone with buddy. But, like, that's a really weak attack of buddies. It's good to clutter the screen and it can fit between these orbs, like those ones especially. Which is why you want to do them. Hundred percent. Yeah, that was the dumbest death. Pretty much misplayed by doing that. Didn't cover enough of the screen. You should have just shot a laser straight up. There's already clutter. It'll do it in time. Uh, he let the clutter dissipate, so I got a free, a free dodge for that laser. And I took a dumb hit there, which is really dumb. He got covered those people really well. Like, I would not have, even on a good day, that would have just destroyed me. And That guy, too. I didn't even notice that there was an extra one. Like, I knew there was an extra one, because I, I counted, right? But I didn't notice where it was. Like, I thought it just flew off the screen, or was flying off the screen. And then I got the free hit, because I didn't really matter, because those ones are slow. But these guys, these ships, and he's, he's doing such a good job at covering them, I can't even get you a good picture, right? These ships, these things are so ridiculously fast, and they're layered on the bottom despite being bullets, right? So normally, like, these bullets, these are above gunships. My bullets are below gunships. They're on top of them, aren't they? Uh, they hit them. My bullets are there below theirs. Gunship boats, top gunship these guys but these guys are the bullets so you can go right over them and you can't see where they go and of course boom that's so fast so you don't realize that there's two you die and again it's so like that's one of buddy's big advantages uh dr magic can do somewhat similar um Smith can do similar because he's really big, but it's noticeable when he's covering something because most of the enemies don't look the same color as him. I mean, if you're colorblind... <laughs> yeah. And that was... That was really good. That was a really good play. So... I'm going to run through time. Yeah. That was, that was his end. So now, just in general... Um, I'm going to go through it one more time. And this is probably the last time we're just go over like the super basic fundamentals of like comboing, dodging things. I try not to go into like high strategy and just go straight up like here's what you're doing to get high numbers and to not die. And that's part of the reason why I chose this one, because I die. Doing really dumb things, right? So obviously. Right off the bat, pick one of these two characters. <laughs> yeah, pick Ruby, though. Ruby's really good. Smith is also really good for, like, early players. Uh, probably would have been better for me if I picked Smith against Ainverse. Because uh, I'm, I'm not used to hard. I'm, at this point, I hadn't played for, like, a month. Like, you know, university finals and all that. <sighs> Other things, like jobs kind of stuff real life got in the way it sucked just laziness too <laughs> like, I'm not gonna pretend all my problems aren't my fault as well but Smith would be good I don't know how his gunship works though so I didn't pick it um, I I overestimated how good I'd still be so I assumed I'd be able to get to Ruby's gunship and just kill him with it like that's my strategy normally Ruby's gunship's really good uh, there's still more basics to go on, though, before the round actually starts. So, best of three, right here. First to two. It's both of them. 
Two rounds? That means anyone with a good gunship is good. One round, anyone with a gunship wins. Like, gunships are just insanely strong with one round. Um, if you're going to go, like, three rounds or four rounds, you want attacks. Because three or four rounds, you gunship, you get a gunship back. Every time. And, like, you get a gunship, you get a gunship back. It sucks. And if you just win the round, you end it. End the round if it's not the last one. They just gunship you back and take you a really quick kill. Or, like, they'll do the first 12, 13 chain, fill up a bar, do a full level 11 attack, and then gunship you. And that's... At the level 11, if you hit, like, a bad... If you're on red stage, or... There's, like, a couple patterns that you might want to bomb on. Or, like, you just get really unlucky, and... Someone, like, Ruby has a gunship that's just, like... Like, one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. And just slowly covers the screen and kills you. That kind of stuff. Uh, you'd have to bomb. But it's also a free attack, pretty much. Like, you're sacrificing 10% of your gunship health. And if you're playing someone like Ruby, who's pretty much always going to get a hit with gunship, and they have to bomb there, you can get probably get two hits and kill them right off the bat. Um, so, three rounds, gunships are worse. Because they can gunship right back, you'll have no attack. And then the next round, you're neutral. So, and you still got another round to win, right? And so attacks are just better a lot better and you're gonna look for something like it depends on the stage and you don't know the stage beforehand hopefully <laughs> don't go picking stages it ruins half the fun yeah actually do what you want i don't actually care have fun with the game the game's supposed to be fun but it's three rounds like nova got a good attack ruby has a really good attack if you care about combos uh, it's really hard to combo through Ruby's attack if he gets a semi-good pattern. Like, he'll put, like, four of them up here, and there's an enemy here. You can't kill the enemy because you'll die. <laughs> right. Especially with, like, the very speeds. Like, something will go fast, and one of them goes slightly slower, and it just covers this entire area. Like, that entire place is just deleted. You can't go there. And, like, you need a spread shot, like Ruby's or... Nova's at points. Nova's is hard because you actually have to go up on the screen, and you don't want to do that when Ruby's shooting cannons at you. Smith, um, it doesn't matter. Like Smith just stays at the bottom and he hits the entire screen. <laughs> it doesn't matter ever. It's a really bad matchup for Ruby. Um, Smith's is really good if you plan on going to later waves. Uh, same with Nova, actually. But like if you plan on going really long into a game where you're playing on like very hard, uh, Smith is really good just because it covers so much space on the screen for so long. Like you can hit a bad pattern and it sucks. But yeah, but like most characters, everyone but Gen can hit a bad pattern and it sucks. But Gen always gets good pattern because his are aimed. So um, yeah, so uh, more rounds it means attacks are a lot better, and you really want to save your bombs. For a gunship because if you save your bomb for a gunship you win <laughs> like you will literally win uh, and if you can kill the gunship without using your bomb you actually do just win like that's that's like two rounds for you uh, yeah, so more attack uh, pick characters with better attacks like it's subjective what you think a better attack is and it's subjective like why you think an attack would be better too but in general, I'd go, like, Ruby's great if you're good at combos, like I am, because I care a lot about combos. Uh, Smith is good if you just want something you can throw out, and it'll be good. Uh, especially later game. You plan on living long and getting a lot of combos. Like, Smith is really easy to play, and you'll do it. Gens is really, really, really good if you've got... If you're ahead in the... Like, if you're ahead in the, the screens, like, you delayed... Your opponent delays, like I would. I would always delay. You're playing again. You know what's coming up for them. And you know what points they're going to have to move. And they're going to have to stay still. So you do something. They got to stay still. You send like a level 2. You can kill them. With just one level 2. It's really strong. If you're ahead. If you're behind, it's, it's kind of weak. Uh, it's good in later stages because they do have to move. But they're probably already moving somewhat. Especially if they're like me and a Varth player. Like, where they're just so ingrained to always be moving. 
Uh, if it was on my end, you'd see that I twitch a lot. Because I'm just used to playing Varth where you need to move to get your bombs back. And that's kind of just how I learned roguelikes. Not roguelikes. It's <laughs> how I learned shmups and how I learned dodging and movement. Just with the perspective of, like, I have a two times larger hitbox, but at the same time I can make it really small if I'm just precise. And it was like... So part of it is... Good attacks on... Dr. Magic is a good attack on anything with a red background, red stage particularly. Uh, Host has a somewhat decent but not great attack. Yeah, it's like Gens which tracks, but Host should be banned because his gunship is busted. His gunship's like a free two hits, insane, and then his like armor attack's really good. I don't like Host. I also don't have an unlocked though, so I might just be crazy. But yeah. Uh, Nova's is really good later game because they can't move up or down, especially if it traps them. Like, Nova's attack, not Nova's, Nano's, I'm going to call her Nova forever though. Nano's attack, if they're, um, let me let them move up, just ignore everything that's happening on the screen. There. If they're here, you get an attack here, you get an attack here, their screen space is gone. They have to move up or move down move down, they're dead, because they get less. Stay in the same place, they're dead, because they don't have much spaces. Move up. Everyone spawns here and kills them. <laughs> right? But that means, you have to know when a spawn is happening. Uh, that's gen They're generally pretty predictable. Uh, especially if you're ahead. You don't want to be ahead, you want to be behind. Um, ahead on the, the waves and stuff. Um, two... If you shoot like five, there's a chance that it might just block out the screen and kill them. Uh, that's obviously really strong. But the problem is, if you shoot like five, they move down, but they still got full horizontal movement. Which means that they do not need to drop their combo to avoid it. Uh, I mean, they, they will if like bad patterns happen. But it's so much easier to combo through a Nova attack than it is for a lot of others. Uh, if you're Smith, it's irrelevant. Smith can combo through everything. But Nova does not have good combo disruption. Um, so it's a good attack if you want to kill someone with it, but it's not a good attack if you want to gain more meter faster. Uh, as for for Buddy, um, also I'm talking about attack 1s. I don't actually know attack 2s that well. But for Buddy, his is pretty easy to avoid. It's like a worse version of Ruby's. And some people have trouble looking at the bottom of the screen. Just fast and quick. Uh, I don't really, because like, I listen for the sound effect. I scan the bottom of the screen, I find the spot, and I go under them. So like, it'll be here, it'll shoot upwards, I go under it. And then I'm safe. It can't hit me from there. Uh, I, for the attack too, I, I know I don't know much, but like he uses them. Uh, Inverse uses them. Uh, it's the same deal, except for it's a little bit harder to avoid them. And, like, you might want to start a bit higher, but I still say if there's an open spot on the bottom, you just start right on the bottom. Uh, but do whatever you can to avoid them. Whatever works for you best. Like Again, everyone begins. There's not, like, a best answer to avoid them, because there's an element of variance, and there's a bunch of things that people are going to be better or worse at. Because Gen's are... Gen's different, because his is just aimed. And there's going to be a lot of situations where there's just a wrong place to move to. Straight up. And at the same time, it's going to be fine. Okay. So now we'll go back to the start of the round. And we're done talking about the rounds. So like, more rounds, attacks are better. Less rounds, gunships are better. Boobly. Start to start. You want to pull back. Almost always. Uh, buddy doesn't matter. Um, who else is in this game? <laughs> uh, anyone with a fast shot, really, doesn't really matter. Everyone with a spread wants to pull back. Uh, anyone with a delayed shot is incentivized to pull back, but they don't really need to. It depends on the level and depends how hard it is to react to a side. And very first stage, you're in general going to be delaying it anyways. This is more so that you just don't miss your first robot. 
add one to your count. Uh, now then, there's another section that I want to talk about right off the bat, fundamentals. Uh, if you can't link the first robots, don't bother. Don't hit them. Like, just don't combo off them. Kill them one, let it die. Kill the second, let it die. Kill the third, let it die. Kill the fourth, let it die. Or don't let it die. Go for the combo. Because you'll be at one. The reason why is because, like, I I think I do it in this round. One, two. So watch his screen. Three, four. He kills. He misses the combo. I'm covering his spot right now. I would have missed my combo, but I got it because he missed his combo. I delayed this too, so that I got this free free linker. And that's going over the second part. Why you delay? This is called feeding, by the way. So feeding is really good. What I'm doing here, I'm making everything slow. I kill it last possible time. He kills it really fast. Let's go over this again. Look how fast he kills him. This is a really fast kill. You feed late. He drops his combo. You link your combo. And it's going to be like this for the rest of the game. Uh, assuming you keep killing, like both of you kill them on consistent times. So like, if he's feeding, you feed. If you if you're if he's killing them consistent timings, you kill them with consistent timings. Or you feed a little bit more to try to put them a bit too far ahead. Like, because like you can put him like a full wave and a half ahead, and it, he's just never gonna get a linker. Because either like the normal times like you drop him in the middle of a wave. And he has to clear them. Or because he's dropping them all the time. Because the waves are actually hard now, right? And you're just getting linkers on linkers on linkers. And you can kill them before your waves actually start getting too hard to handle. Of course. So that's the normal feed. Alright. I drop my combo. I'm covering this side, by the way. I'm going to go over that after. But yeah, I drop the combo. I get the first 9 chain. He drops another one. I get a 10 chain. And then the normal... This one's fine. I lived through this. I dropped the combo because I was dumb. So, I'll now go back to the start. So, what was I going to talk about? So, the normal combos. I dropped your attention. Okay, covering, that's what I was talking about. So, in this game, nearly every stage in the game, there are two possible places where the enemies will come out of. And the enemies, it doesn't really matter where they come out of, but uh, they're either going to come out here-ish or here-ish. And the later waves, if you get the big enemies, they start behind the screen. I can't really show it, but like, like this distance to the top row, like they start like the same amount above the screen out of them. Uh, same with the sides, but they usually don't start that far out from what I can tell. Like, I've, I don't know if I've hit anything here-ish, or, like, on um, Ruby's side, like, here-ish. I, I don't think they start that far out. Um, I might just be not noticing them properly, but that is, in general, what I feel is correct. And, I mean, obviously, look for yourself. Uh, figure it out for yourself. I, I don't know everything about this game. and No one knows everything. <laughs> Spaghetti code all over the place. <laughs> but no. So anyways, yeah. So when I do this, I kill, I kill, I kill. I kill the center. I kill the side. Hopefully. Uh, I'm too late. Never mind. I, don't know. I think I do it here. So obviously, you might be like, so obviously feeding. I go to the wrong side. I know that this first one will not drop the second one. As long as I kill the second one, I get this combo. Alright. So what happens there? This is what feed, This is what the, the coverage is. So I talk about this all the time. Nova has insane coverage. Uh, Ruby has like, uh, Smith has insane coverage too, but his is different. I'll explain that after. So, Ruby's coverage, it works mostly the same as anyone else with delay. 
You see these sweeping motions? You do drop to the bottom, cover left, cover right. I screwed this one up a tiny bit. So, uh, again, this was, I explained this earlier, but this is because I'm used to option. Uh, option's the one that stays behind you and shoots a big cone. And that's just a free combo. So what I'm doing here is I think I'm going, if he drops this, I'm fine. So I'm going to shoot bullets here if they spawn here, and I'm going to kill this guy and go right back. They do spawn there, but later than I expected. So if I had option up, I would have continued that combo. And this one, I screw up and get hit. And this was a missed wave. That was a really dumb, dumb decision. Ignore this for this. And I think this one I do normally. I think I'd die. But anyways, so these are normal. Like I'm covering left and I'm going right in an effort to just barely finish off these enemies, right? So I went too far back. So these ones I'm going right to the middle too. Because I know that I'll hit the entire top row, and if I see this combo counter slightly tick upwards, I've hit someone and I just need to find it again. See, like this right here, slightly moving. That was a bad coverage on my part, too. I don't know why I went too far out, but... So, like, that's another good example of coverage. So here, I found it. I saw him off screen. I saw the hits, so I stood in his place, moved up a bit. I moved to the left, and I moved back to the right, because I know that if I can... I might cover, have to cover something left, like a drone flying out, but I can move back right because I'll have enough lingering shots to get anything up here and behind the screen. So I move back right to get the rest of the coverage out. And I continue moving down for this entire time because I want to be at the bottom so I get the most coverage with Ruby. And I do it again there. You can see that I'm moving left, so my little side shots shoot upwards into these corners should usually give me enough time to actually finish a link. That one would have just barely linked, but this gunship saved me so much. Like this one, this bullet right here hits him, and I could have saved it off of that. But that was a really risky and bad one. <laughs> so anyway, now we're going to watch... You do his. Because this first round was kind of bad. He's really good otherwise, but I think he just kind of forgot how to link. <laughs> so he's moving really far up, which means he moved, lost that link again. Stay at the bottom, move back and forth. You can react to it and just link off of that. So he moves, loses this one. This one's solid, but he's not covering. So he's, there's a chance yeah, that he misses it because he wasn't had the edges covered. Nova can cover the edges with these shots. And almost always, it's really good. She she has like second best combo game. Yeah, so yeah, he's covering again here. He's moving a little bit, which I wouldn't suggest. You, you want a bigger spread than that. Um, I'm sure there's there's like other things he knows to watch out for because I'm not familiar with hard mode, and he is, I think. But like, this is like the norm my on normal mode this would be my strategy would be to just cover everything so he gets the first combo because those those bad drops I had before which is really uh, just poor play he goes into gunship um, again I, I mentioned before going into gunship straps but now's not time for those because I still need to explain how Smith works. So Smith, um, his big fu big gimmick is that he shoots like, if he's here, this is where Nova is, he shoots like this entire screen. It's ridiculous. He easily hits those spots, right? This big cone, that's Smith's fun town. So you're at the bottom, you literally can just sit at the bottom, dodge slightly left and right, and get everything. Oh, 
I know why he's going to the middle. Because this is like the, the standard area you want to be in to avoid things. And I'll go over that later too. Uh, how to play shmups to not get hit. And not focus on like these combos or competitive other players. Just the stay alive stuff. Basic fundamentals of playing a shmup. Anyways. I don't know if he's a Varth player, but he's moving back and forth like one, which is fun. <laughs> so, you notice he drops the combo because he's not covering the edges. Like you can't react to them. And I get a free, like I get free pink ups from him, and I lose it because I get hit. But if I didn't get hit, I would have been at like a twenty or something. So, uh, this is a combo attack. Uh, part of it's I wanted to drop the combo, and I got the worst possible ones. These are right on the outside. They won't stop anything. It was a bad attack anyways, so. I'm not too pissed at... Like, I'm not upset at the game because of it. I'm more upset at myself for trying it. Yeah. That was a good pickup there, because he just gets it last second. That was another really good coverage thing. Where Notice here. He's here. He's going to be moving back into the center. Um, might have been unintentional, but he does really good coverage. So like, you don't quite see this yet. He's over here. He covers the entire screen pretty much. And he still gets his combo because he's hitting them enough, right? So that's, that's like a good coverage. And it happens a lot when he has to go back to the center. These waves are easy. This is one of the reasons I don't like hard mode anyways. Because like those waves happen all the time and you just don't drop a combo during them. Yep. And then... So like the Smith strategy though. Stay here. Hit the entire screen. You don't drop your combo. Focus entirely on dodging. You want to pay attention to yourself and yourself alone when you play Smith. And you only look over here when the wave gets hard or when your feeding stops working. Like you want to advance in your wave specifically so that you know what waves are going to be hard and what waves will be easy to mine someone on. He's one of the only characters that's better when they're ahead, the other being Gen. And Nova to a tiny extent, but her combo game is so good that I, w I would rather be behind. So, I'm going to go back to the start again to go over gunship strategy, the basic one. Uh, so gunships are bad if they've got a bomb, because that's a free kill for your gunship. You take their bomb, which is nice, but you also waste all of your bar doing it. So there's two strategies, usually dependent on how fast you can combo and how well your character is, good character is at comboing. Uh, first one, uh, just level 10 attacks. Use Fill an entire attack on a hard-to-do wave. Uh, it's better when you're ahead and you know the waves are coming. Uh, you fill your entire thing. You send it over and hope they have to bomb it. Uh, usually they don't have to bomb it. And like you'll you'll live. But when they do, that's a free gunship. You build your combo up and gunship them. Now, the other strategies. One of them, what you did here, you just use it when you get it. Alright. He gets gunship, he goes into it. This is a solid enough strategy. It's a super basic way into gunship. If you're someone like Ruby, uh, you have a good enough gunship, this is viable. And strong. He's also on a hard wave. I don't know if he knows he's ahead, but this is a hard wave. So you just go up. You got a big combo, you do it. Now, the strategy I like to go for a lot and I fail to do later in this set, which kills me, because I'm a fool. So you see this, and this is another basic mechanic of the, this game specifically. These red, this is overcharged, so if you charge up your attack, you can go into these red and you get an extra level of your attack. So like, one pip is 110%, 120, 130, 140, 150, 60, 70, 80-ish. I, I, I'm terrible and don't count, but... Uh, you can go into gunship, and this is converted into extra help. So, like Strat said, fill this all the way up, get a little bit extra, uh, like 
this percent level one do that fire hope they use the bomb and then go into your gunship it's better with ruby because he's got a really strong solo gunship and it's kind of bad with uh, nano because their gunship's kind of weak i mean i died to it but i died to it because i'm garbo <laughs> yeah so that's the the regular strategy and like in this case it was fine i already took a hit here which is really dominates like anything that puts him into gunship would would have probably killed me or put me in such a bad spot that it's viable to just go into gunship and get it get me out of play quickly because i'm not going to get this combo up and you're not going to be at a bad advantage especially with a character like nova uh, nano who can combo so ridiculously well <laughs> Go into gunship, kill me. Round ends, I'm just gonna skip through this. Uh, Alright, talk about there. So now, this round is one of those, I'm really bad at avoiding things sometimes rounds. I drop this combo, I focus and now don't die. <laughs> so on my side of the screen, you'll notice that I'm playing like a fool and trying to combo still. I wanted to pick this up so bad, so I'm cornering myself right at the bottom to get the most spread possible. This is bad for obvious reasons, because I'm at the bottom, I can't move up, I can't move down. Like I can't make these bullets attack slower. Like this one is gonna hit me in like a second. This one, same. This one, and they're all gonna cover here, here, and here, and now I've only had this part of the screen left. This general area. These bullets are coming down. They'll do the similar path. This one's going to come down here. Here-ish. Here-ish, I think. Yep. So I obviously escape upwards and try to get to the center because I realize I'm dying. And then this happens. And I go the... Like... I escape to the center. Homing guy comes in. I can't cause it to track anywhere. It's aiming at me, and I can't do anything about it. Like it always aims at you, but you can move here, and then you can move here. Move here. It fires. Then you move here, and it just shoots over here, and it doesn't matter. You have this whole area of the screen to work with. And that's in general good. Like, you'll see him, uh, Inverse, do this. He moves over there. He actually just kills him. Uh, yeah, he's in the center still. so. But he just moves sideways. Gets out of the way. I can't, because I still go to the bottom trying to finish this combo. And get really high, because I knew that I won't be hitting these guys if I was moving safely and this would have worked but I read this wrong so, I nearly got killed because of my dumb action there I got killed because of this dumb action though I courted myself again because I thought I had a gunship escape so this is the best example of why you need to pay attention to where you are on the screen and where you can go on the screen or you're gonna get yourself killed so Obviously, I'm not paying attention at all to where I am on the screen, because I'm just going to bail right into gunship in my mind. That was my strategy. Just go into gunship. It's like, you won't get hit. So, I'm just firing these. I want to get as many as I can off. It's done. I'm shooting again. Gunship. Oh, I died. So, what happens? This guy shoots there. That was fine. That was the normal leading shot. I move here, because I don't want to get hit by that. And I want to have him shoot over here. I move back in to center, and I just move left. Why did I move left? I don't know why I moved left, honestly. But part of the problem is moving left here killed me. These two fire tracking shots. They're going to cover this area, this area, and somewhere around here. And, of course, they do exactly that. That covers there. Those are covering there. These ones are covering the rest of the screen, and I die. There is, like... That movement, that movement right there, this dumb choice here to move right when I should have went back to the center as much as I could, killed me. There's there's literally no way out of this. <laughs> well, I mean, I could have made a really tight escape here, but it's really hard and I was not able to get out of there. I just kind of went back and died. Now, the same way he's coming up here, we'll see how he handles it. And it's worse for him, because I put a lot more things on screen. So, obviously, he's going left, and he's trying to go right back as close to the center as he can. 
And he's making close dodges on my attacks, right? So these guys will come up. He's attacking, and he's just moving slightly out of the way so he can recenter everything. And he does this. Um, See so here, he sees that one shot. He moves there to get to shoot completely the wrong way and then takes center again. That's going to stop me, uh, stop the enemies from doing anything to him because he's got this full screen of motion. All right. He's in the center. He can move literally anywhere pretty much as long as the bullets won't be there. And that's the general. Like, take center stage. Try to just completely ignore. Uh, in general, you want to be moving a little bit less than normal. Like, don't wiggle around if you really need to get tight spaces. Um, I still wiggle around because I'm a loser. <laughs> but, like, he's taking these tiny little dots, and he's just getting into a spot he knows will be safe. And whenever he can, he tries to move back towards the center. So, like, he knows this spot will be safe. Move back then. And you just watch the top to know when you're clear. That's like the basics. You'll be doing this in the entire game. So if you pay attention to what one inverse is doing, you'll notice like he's really paying full attention to dodging attacks and dodging bullets and everything that's hitting him. Well, I'm entirely focused on combos because combos are fun. <laughs> this is a stage where my strategy ruined me. So here he is. He's going back. He's taking center stage again. Even when he's dealing with these things, he's moving right back to center as much as he can. You stay on the bottom just because bottom's nice at the start. There's not a lot of things that will actually force you to stop being on the bottom. But I, I, I'm, I don't remember, but I think he moves up later. Because you'll start to have a bit harder time. Oh, I die. So let's go through this again. You'll notice I'm taking the bottom. I'm a fool. I drop a combo here. I'm dumb. I stay on the bottom and I do way too risky things to try to keep my combo and the linkers as optimized as possible. And I just take two quick hit and die. I don't pull back down here because I'm like, I'm just going to focus on dodging and outlast him. And I pull back down because I was like, eh. Questioning my decisions. Eat. He's staying mostly in the center. He's going to try to move back in, and he does. That's in general where he's going to try to stay the entire game. I'm still sweeping, because sweeping, clean house, clean mind. <laughs> yeah. And that causes me to die again really quick. Like, red stage is my worst stage um, on any difficult that, is, that isn't normal. So again, so that's like that's the space of dodging. Stay in the center. Don't get yourself cornered. If you see something up here that's going to cover an area of the screen, like just make sure that if you're moving somewhere and it's going to cover, you're not in the lower half of the screen. Like not lower side. Like you aren't in the less area screen of where it's covering. So like if this was a laser that's coming down, you wouldn't want to be on this side. You'd want to be on this side. Uh, if something's tracking you, move out the way. Move back in. Really simple. For like a lot of these combos too, like it's, it's generally good enough if you pick up play a wide enough spread character like Smith, you can smoke focus, focus uh, entirely on just playing safe. Take center screen, don't even try to dodge, um, don't even try to combo, only try to dodge. I mean, and when you're dodging, you can generally like from here on, you want to glance upwards, but your main eye focus is going to be on. The area around your ship in general here about as much as you can react to like I am decently good I can react to stuff that's about here in this game everything moves pretty slow and I glance up a lot and I know a lot of the enemies still so as long as I can know like I know this guy he's right here his bullets are gonna go straight down twice I can move barely out of the side and not get hit. Well, they move straight down three times. See, I barely move out of the way and I just won't get hit. It doesn't matter to me what's happening because I know those enemies and I know how they shoot. Like, 
There's no need to... If you're in a safe spot, there's no need to get into a more safe spot. Because if you're not getting hit, it's safe. And what this does is this gives me a lot of space to work with. Like this attack by default just takes a lot of the screen. But I'm barely aside, so I can move the entirety of this area. Right? And I'm still keeping my combo up, which is why I'm staying really far down. This stuff is the same. I go here. So what happens here is I'm taking a gambit on my own personal skill here. Normally, you'd go here. This is the biggest open space. But I realized... I know this bullet speed. I know this bullet speed. I'll be able to fit right here just barely. So I go there. They both miss. And I get this huge screen space to work with. That's how I'm staying safe here. Now, if you were worse at the game, like I was in earlier rounds and later rounds, <laughs> that'd be dumb and you shouldn't try it. Like, you practice this stuff on your own time, really. If you want to win competitive matches, you go for the safer stuff that you know you can do always. Don't do risky things in competitive matches unless you're going to lose anyways. And you would. You see this pattern? You know everything's tracking towards you. You go right. You get this area to work with. Everything's going to clear, probably, and you'll be able to move back to the center. And that's one of the trade-offs. Is like, you're going to see a pattern. It's going to cover some area of the screen. One of them's going to be easy to get to, and it's going to move you in a certain direction. One of them's going to be harder to get to, and it'll move you in a different direction. And you got to risk. Can you get through those tighter gaps? Like I'm sure Ainsworth does on. I'm going to watch him for a bit. So he does a really easy link there. He's not risking anything. These ones are harder. So he's moving a bit back just to give himself more time to react and dodge to things. Right. But he's going to stay up top. Like I stay right at the bottom, both the combo and because it's easy to dodge. But he's staying relatively high, because as soon as he thinks it's safe to go through these, he will go through them to get this huge area. Like, I'm sitting down here, because I'm fine with just this area of safety. He wants this entire big thing, because up here, he can go through them quickly, where I'm still stuck in them. And he'll have a much bigger area to work with for safety, because it's just easier. And there he takes an easy path, because he didn't want to go through them. And he baits the tracking shot away. These ones, I think he does. He might do the same thing. Or, oh, he just kills him really quick because he's buddy. So, yeah. This stuff, that was a really risky move there. This is another thing. Of, so, I'm guessing he saw this guy appear. And he's like, I need to hit this and grab a power up quickly. Because you almost always want the power up quickly. And they have a bit of a hard pattern later. Really clutters the screen. I transform. But he does a risky strat to get there. So right there, he's going under instead of over. Because he knows that's faster because it's more direct. And he'll just stay under it as much as he can, clearing up a little bit of junk when he kill. Well, he can. Here, he's trying to stay right between them because he knows this is what he has to do to get the most damage. And, like, you see those risky very risky like those are very small gaps yep. and the same thing happens there he needs to get under me so instead of just taking the safe route and going high he's going back down low where it's really hard to dodge things and i'm making this hard for him too And he gets the free bomb. And he's just going to stabilize for a bit. And that's the most basic stuff for defensive. So. Obviously, this is kind of a bad attack too. Uh, back to gunships. He shoots everything and he transforms instantly. Like, this is the classic attack. But I have a bomb. I have two bombs, actually. So I'm, I'm obviously just going to delete them. 
And Ruby's bomb ba lasts a while. I don't know if they're actually different, but I know Ruby's lasts a while. And I bomb a second time because I'm a fool. So now, like, the basics of attacking is really obvious. Just clutter the screen as much as you can. A couple characters have mix-ups, like Ruby has a mix-up, the one I described before. Uh, put the orbs out and they move fast enough to just cover. They have to guess when to go through them, you can just hit them out of it. It's really easy. Um, this stuff, I can't believe I bombed that and I'm really disappointed in myself. Yeah. Anyways. So again, I'm trying to combo here and I'm just like, there's nothing I can do. I, I don't know how to get to the center of the stage, and everything's too cluttered for me. So I'm going to die here. Yeah. That is a really hard thing to do. I don't know what he did to solve it. I think I'm just ahead of him. Yeah, I'm ahead of him. So I'm ahead of him at this point, which sucks. Yeah. More on the risk. Obviously, he's trying to keep center. Center's safe. He's trying to stay low, because they're all appearing really low now. He takes a lot of those bigger risks, of things that are harder to go through. Like those, those tiny little arrows that he goes through. Those are really hard, and some of these are... Like, just kind of questionable. Of what he's going to do, but... He's, he's pretty confident in his skills, probably. And he does have a lot of skill, because he can do them. So other things, like, I would be here. I would go here. I would go here. He doesn't. I would be here, in this spot. So again, I'm standing at the bottom. He's going right under them because he knows that most damage is good. And I I got bodied by that because I just let this clutter fill. I didn't have my bombs. He has two bombs, which is probably why he's playing a bit riskier. Two life as well. Yeah. So yeah, again, the basics. Feed people. Feed your enemies. Don't do what I did here, or it's harder to link unless you get a good guess. That's coverage. Don't miss it. Right. I miss this coverage again. Uh, I'm not playing safe right here because I want my combos back. It's just overplayed. A really dumb decision. That was a lucky shot. So yeah. I can't believe I missed that too. Uh, this one, I'm going to play risky again, hopefully. Yeah. And then he's going to gunship. Probably quickly. I didn't have a bomb, so that's a fine attack. And this will kill me, because I will not be able to dodge anything, because I can't clear the screen at this point. I assume. Yeah. The last strategy for gunship, if they got a really high combo count, just gunship. You either hit them, or they'll bomb, and usually they won't be able to carry their combo through it. They'll come back, and you just get a lot of... A lot of free damage because you'll be out of a wave as well. Yeah. So, like, super basics. Fill the screen with clutter. Makes it harder to dodge. Attack when the opponent's probably having a hard time. Uh, slow down your waves so that you can get behind if you want to be behind. Um, speed up your waves and drop combos if you want to be ahead. If you're not confident in your first four combos, uh, like your first four, and then to the next four, uh, don't combo them. Uh, you'll give your opponent a linker, and it'll just be bad for you. The, you gain like half a bar. It's really not worth it. And if you want, if you want to be really good, you let you just feed your right up there, kill them. Your opponent will give you a linker if they drop theirs, and then sweep left and right to cover the muscle stage unless your buddy. Or your smith. Your smith, you don't sweep. You don't have to. Um, buddy, you just guess. You can't combo with buddy. Uh, Ruby, Dr. Magic, everyone else, sweep. Lingering shots like these. Ones that take time to go up. Uh, the slower the better, usually, um, for combos. 
Uh, not for clearing and everything else, obviously. Because you're going to be leading your shots anyways. Um, and they'll be able to cover more area. Because you can just speed them up by going upwards if you need to. So. He's going upward. Lead your shots. Um, in general, dodge things that move inwards. Like that. Don't get hit by those. <laughs> Recognize what enemies are above and what patterns they'll have because they're going to be consistent enough. Uh, if you dodge something slightly, you don't need to dodge it more. Uh, especially if dodging it more puts you in a worse position. So, as an example earlier. This one. I've slightly dodged this. I've slightly dodged those. Those hit and I move upwards. It's my time to move upwards. Here, I know I'm safe for those two bullets and those lasers. So I didn't move until later. Yeah. And like, I think I moved a bit outwards quicker on my side, because this is obviously laggy. Because I, I didn't know quite know the laser hitbox or how well it was angled. I think the angle got changed, but I don't remember. Anyways, it's decent. And then, obviously, like, know what's going on. Don't screw up. So, that's mostly everything you need to know. Like, that's the basics of stay in the center, know where you're going to not die. Uh, combos, you want to lead one to get behind on waves so you know what's coming, and so that when your opponent drops one, you'll pick it up between waves. And you'll be able to link to the next one. Easiest way to get your combo can't high. Um, do do sweeping, because like if you you can't predict reliably what side is coming out of, it's actually randomized. So you just sweep a lot, and it's really good to sweep, uh, unless your buddy uh, Smith doesn't need to. So that's what you're doing. That will almost always. At least, like, half the time you'll link. Watch your combo counter, too. You really... You'll be able to see off-screen enemies by your combo counter going upwards. So as long as you know where your shots are, or have, like, a slight memory of where your shots are and where they're off-screen, you'll be able to catch those quicker, and you'll drop less combos. Uh, uh, generally, at the bottom, anything with spread is going to be better early rounds. It's dangerous later rounds, so you want to be... In general, that spot. Uh, anything without spread, uh, you can generally pick anywhere. If it's slower shots, you still want to be at the bottom. But if it's like buddy or something really fast, uh, just go wherever you think is safest. And just guess. Literally just guess what side you think they're going to show up on. I hope you're right. And you really should try to feed because it's going to be the same as your opponent pretty much. So you know harder rounds to combo into, and have ideas of what's going to be fat and what sides are going to come on. I don't think the sides are actually synced though. They might be, but I'm usually not trying to pay that much attention to them. Because I've delayed it and it drops. And I want to be watching my screen sometimes. Other than that, uh, generally where you keep your eyes this is really important because a lot of people don't actually look at the right spots on the screen here not much clutter watch up here always watch up here you want to see the enemies you want to be able to link your combos and you don't want to lose if you're not watching up here you're watching down here to not get hit you're going to drop your combo instantly don't even come close you hear that sound and it's buddy uh, look down. <laughs> Easy as that. Alright. And then, this time, the screen's really cluttered. Watch yourself. It doesn't matter what you're hitting up here. There's a lot of things on the screen. You're probably hitting something, right? So watch yourself. Just make sure you know where you're going. <laughs> That's definitely lag. <laughs> Know where you are, like, know what safe paths are going to happen. That's when you're glancing up, but generally try to, 
at least keep your reaction zone around your ship. So like you'll be able to react to anything within like that general circle if you're watching this circle, right? So you know your ship, you know your distance to it, and you can you're always checking it so you know. And then you look up and you just memorize your ship speed and where the, the bullet speeds, right? So you move. It's safe to look up. I was looking up this entire time. I know I'm under it at this point. I'm still looking up because I'm a fool. <laughs> I should be looking at my own character. I should realize that this is coming down. I need to get here and go through. But I looked up. I was still watching. I wanted to go back to get the rebound, right? I should have been up. And I died for it. Right? And this one I died because I started looking at my ship again, too. But at the same time, he hid this, and this was hard to see. So, yeah. Watch your ship if you think you're going to die soon. Like this time I probably watch my ship and I just know what's a little bit better. Look for open areas. Other than that, keep an eye up here so you can continue your combo. Make sure you're trying to be behind your opponent so that they, when they drop their combo, you can get that combo for free. Right. And then gunships. Uh, generally, you want to bomb early because uh, it's easier to keep your combo after. Uh, if you think, like, if they have a weak gunship, or not the best gunship, and you think that they, that you can go through it without bombing, do that. That's a fine risk to take, if you think you can actually do it. And I would recommend it, even. I'm not very confident against a lot of, a lot of gunships, so I'll just bomb early. Especially if they have, like, any sort of clutter, because I just don't want to deal with that stuff. Right. That's part of it. Of course, Invers wins because he's really, really solid at just fundamental schmups, right? Number one on the leaderboards and everything. So, I lose because I'm, like, I'm entirely focused on combos and beating the opponent, which is one of the reasons I wanted to play on normal, too. Because I really like normal for how the combo game feels and works. I'm not a big fan of hard because either, like, you get these patterns where it's just too hard to combo into, or everything's on screen all the time, and you just never drop your combo because you're playing someone with, like, spread. Or you're just always hitting something. And so it's just like, instead of a combo, it's just a have you gotten hit counter. I don't know, like, stay in the center, feed your stuff so your opponent's late. We're at the same sink here. I'm a tiny bit ahead, actually, which I don't like. Oh, are we on the entirely different waves? Oh, we are. Never mind. I'm a bit behind right now. So this wave would have been hard. I ran into some stuff because I'm really bad at sometimes. Other than that, like, try to stay calm. Um, don't make really jerky movements either. Like, um, I play on analog stick. I'm sure other people don't. Like, they probably play on the keyboard or arcade sticks, something eight-way. But this this game at least supports partial um, 360 motion. So that's, I like this, that tiny bit of finer control. And you're not going to see it because this is under leg, lazy. But at the same time, like, play whatever your preferences are. And learn the ship. It's really important to know how fast your ship moves, too. Because you're not going to actually, like, visually confirm if you dodge things all the time. Like, if this is this cluttered, you confirm if you dodge things properly, right? But if we're talking... All right, round start. We're talking like this cluttered. I'm not going to get hit there. I know how far my ship moves, or how long I press the button. Right? I know I'm not getting hit. <laughs> And this one screwed up because I am a dummy and I did get hit because I, I was, I was too confident in my movement. So I moved here and I'm like, this one's gonna miss me. So I moved farther in and I screwed up and died. But well, that one's gonna hit me. I mean, yeah, this one, this one's easier. So I'm just slightly tapping right every once in a while because I know that they're tracking shots. That one caught me off guard. But that's just in general what I'd do. 
Combo chain, obviously. Leave them later. This one's just easy to combo off of because those guys stay forever. And of course, I drop it. Yeah. Man, I just keep getting hit by those. This is a really embarrassing round. I definitely die here. Obviously, keep your calm head. Try to learn the enemies and their patterns. Uh, you just learn those over time, like, if you're paying enough attention. No need to study them either, because, like, they're all generally the same strategy. You just deal with them. And there's a couple little nuances that you can learn when you get better at the game, or whenever you want, really. As long as you're playing, you'll learn. And the big thing is just not dying, really. There's not a lot of true mix-ups in this game. But, which is why I play like the only character with one of the only characters with a true mix-up, which is Ruby, because I really do want to be able to outright go, hey, I know how to do these things, I will hit someone with it, right? But if you want to play a character that really relies on just like if you're playing a shmup and you're good at shmups, not competitive games, uh, play like Smith, play Nova's decent. Um, if you want to play a character that really relies on just competitiveness and playing against your opponent, like Gan and Ruby are top for those. Oh, Buddy's also good for solo player if you're. But like Buddy's really weak right now. I know I lost him, but at the same time, <laughs> Inverse Inverse is just a much better player than I am. And definitely have the fundamentals too. What you want to do is combo games are really important. You want to attack whenever you think that your opponent's gonna to have to bomb for the attack, and you want to gun chip whenever your opponent's not gonna be able to retaliate with their own gun chip and just kill you with that, or with their own attack. You always want to combo. That's just default. Um, Gen's the only character where it's questionable if you really need to focus that much on combos. Like if you have like a full half bar or something you've got enough attacks to kill someone with a hard wave coming up so at that time it's easier it's better to focus less on combos and focus more on getting ahead in waves so you can see where the waves are coming generally fill up your meter a little bit more and just outright kill them and don't let them have a combo that's not safe if they're at like full bar because they'll just gunship you and kill you but it's safe otherwise. If you want to play a character that's just middle of the road, I'd recommend like Doctor Magic is good. His attack is decent. His his gunship's good. His um, his normal shooty bits and his combo game is pretty easy because they're a slow shot. You can really you can really get good at just sweeping over and over and covering everything on top. It'll help train your reactions and what you're looking for with the combo counter and stuff. Um, obviously, like he's fun. I played him a lot too. And, uh, if you want to play on different difficulties, like I personally love normal difficulty. I can play at higher and harder difficulties and lower difficulties, but just normal has a good combo game. Hard and harder. Hard and very hard have a good, just good, like, fundamental dodge things don't get hit uh combo to, combo in secondary easy is just bad at like you'll you'll learn the basics of dodging and you'll learn the super basics of combo game but you'll drop so many combos because everyone's easy to kill and it's just less fun if you can play on normal i'd recommend it um there's tournaments on hard i'm not sure about the other ones i know people in the discord like hard and the discord's really nice everyone should join just, I think it's like the rival Mega Gun. You can Google it. It's I'm pretty sure it's in the game even. But yeah, the game's really fun. Buy it on Steam if you haven't played it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I was gonna review. I'm gonna upload this VOD to YouTube probably. Uh, I think it's 
a good basics and I might trim it down or make a better one later just to go over the 